The reason you're probably here is to figure out how to get the water from your jugs into your trailer. Now a lot of trailers have a simple gravity feed, you can pour the water in and you're done. But for some reason a lot of brands including Keystone which makes Sprinter here have decided to go to a pressure fill system where you actually have to screw a hose in and that's the only way you can do it. Hey guys my name's James. And I'm Ashley. Last year we sold our house and we're traveling across the country with our kids. Hi my name's Goose and this is Maverick. <laughs> Come join us! I've tried a few different options. I even went to the point of where I got uh, the jug on top of my truck and had a hose attached to it with tape. It was kind of ugly, but it was gonna work and gravity feed down to it. It just didn't have enough pressure. Then I learned that they make these little affordable drill pumps that you can connect to your cordless drill or any drill and it will pump the water from your jugs into your RV. I don't know if I just got a cheap one or what, but after about five, 10 minutes of using that, my drill burned up and just started squirting water everywhere and then stopped altogether. So this is what I've learned. After failing multiple times, the simplest solution is yet the best. If your trailer is like mine, you probably have a tank vent and what that does is it it allows air to come out and then once your tank is full, water starts shooting out of that. Now, I don't know why it didn't dawn on me until after I failed the other two times. If water can come out, why can't water go in there? So all I did is I popped out the little vent, hooked up a funnel that I bought at the hardware store, and then poured the water into the funnel, and voila, it turned into a gravity feed fill. Just like all the other RVs out there that don't have this problem, the only downside of this process is I have to hold up this really heavy jug for about five minutes as it pours out. I'm sure I could back the truck up and make it simpler, but it's just easier sometimes to do it the hard way. Right? At least that's what I'm telling myself. Super simple, yet effective. Uh, if you don't have that vent, maybe try the drill pump and then maybe you'll have better luck with that. My drill pump just fell apart, like I said. But to me, this is actually better than the drill pump because I don't need to use power and I don't need to worry about if I forgot to charge my drill or not. All I have to do, hook up my funnel, pour the water in, and I'm good to go. If you guys have any other workarounds that you figured out or other suggestions, leave them down below in the comments because I'd love to know and I'm sure the people watching this would love to know. And if you don't know, we actually do travel vlogs twice a week, so if you're interested in that, click that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, remember, stay positive, get out there. Life is an adventure, so make some memories.